With presidential debate number one now behind us, tonight we're going to look at the candidates' answers, or lack thereof, to one of the most important questions asked during their debate, the deficit. We investigate the numbers behind their answers in tonight's Reality Check. The question asked of both candidates, over the next four years, what would they do to cut America's deficit spending? Governor Romney went first. What things would I cut from spending? Well, first of all, I will eliminate all programs by this test if they don't pass it. Is the program so critical it's worth borrowing money from China to pay for it? And if not, I'll get rid of it. Obamacare is on my list. I apologize, Mr. President. I use that term with all respect. By I the like way. It. Good. Okay, good. So, so I'll get rid of that. I'm sorry, Jim. I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. I'm going to stop other things. I like PBS. I love Big Bird. I actually like you, too. But I'm not going to keep on spending money on things to borrow money from China to pay for it. That's number one. Number two, I'll take programs that are currently good programs, but I think could be run more efficiently at the state level and send them to the state. Number three, I'll make government more efficient and to cut back the number of employees, combine some agencies and departments. My cutbacks will be done through attrition, by the way. This is the approach we have to take to get America to a balanced budget. So let's take a look at these claims, because while everyone is making a big deal out of the PBS comment, it really has no teeth to it. The budget deficit, meaning the amount of money the U.S. government is spending above what it takes in, is $1.1 trillion. Out of a $3.5 trillion budget, that means we borrow one out of every $3 we spend, just to go from year to year. So how much is PBS? It's $444 million. Romney also said he would repeal Obamacare, but according to the CBO's estimates, repealing the ACA would actually cost the nation $109 billion over the next decade. And then comes that claim about China, that every bit of spending will be looked at as to whether or not it's worth borrowing from China for. The only problem? Later on in the evening, Romney said he won't touch Social Security, he won't touch the Department of Education, and he wants to increase military spending. So where will these spending cuts come from? PBS and Obamacare and not filling federal jobs through attrition? Well, it may be a start, but they aren't going to get us there, not by a long shot. So let's now talk about President Obama's plan for the next four years. And so I put forward a specific $4 trillion deficit reduction plan. It's on a website. You can look at all the numbers, what cuts we make and what revenue we raise. And the way we do it is $2.50 for every cut. We ask for a dollar of additional revenue paid for, as I indicated earlier, by asking those of us who have done very well in this country to contribute a little bit more to reduce the deficit. Now what President Obama is not telling you about this $4 trillion plan is that the $4 trillion in cuts are actually spread out over 10 years. So 10 years at $1.1 trillion a year minus that $4 trillion he wants to cut, well that still leaves us with a $6.4 trillion in deficit spending over the next decade. And then after that decade is over, the debt balloons again because the plan doesn't deal with Medicaid costs. So what you need to know is that while Governor Romney said this is a moral issue, while President Obama says dealing with the deficit is critical, neither man put forward any specific plan that stops spending more than we take in year to year. The truth is, the deficit problem our country faces is really not one that can be solved politically, meaning there is no way to fix it without anyone getting hurt. The courage it will take to deal with our spending problem will mean pain. But that pain is coming one way or the other. And that is Reality Check. If you'd like to make your voice heard on this story, you can head over to my Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan, W-X-I-X.